Hey guys, I'm back with my second episode of my single player world tutorial. And I'm still having some trouble with this Enderman. <laughs> yes, I love you too. So, he's kind of creeping me out and giving me the I want to kill you look. So I'm going to wait until it's day and there's less monsters out. And then I'm going to go see what I can do about this guy. But it's kind of hard to keep the fort up and running without all these mobs coming in. So... I know this fort looks very, very bad, but it's serving its purpose for now, keeping me alive. So there, nothing can get in. There, nothing can get in. And I am going to go ahead and place down my crafting table. This is going to be one of the most places I have ever seen. And I am going to make a pickaxe with the rest of my wood. So that now even if the even if that guy does teleport in here, I do want a stronger sword than what I have. So I have no blocks that I can put here except for this, so, let's see, I'm going to have to mine that block out so that I have something to put up here, and then get this out, this out, and that out. There, now I am to stove. And that's unfortunate. There we go. So, guys. I'm just going to mine out a little bit of this stone. I know you can't see any of this, I'm sorry, but I haven't found any coal yet to make the torches. And... Let's see, now I'm going to take my one remaining stick and make a stone sword. And it's getting light out. Perfect. So, once all of these guys are starting to die, so guys, I should, probably should have mentioned this before, but skeletons and zombies will burn like this, see? They burn when the sun comes out, unless they are hiding under a tree or a mountain or some sort of formation. Uh-oh, I heard him teleport. That cannot be a good sign. Is that him over there? It must be. And I told you guys I'd take care of him, so I'm going to run over here and quote, unquote, take care of him. But, he teleported away. He must have seen my sword, and he was like, oh. oh, I think that was him for a second. I'll watch as I run after here and try to take care of him, and I totally lose my place. Lose where I'm at, lose my house, lose everything. Alright, so, I do not see him anymore. So, unfortunately... It doesn't look like I'll be able to take him out for you guys. However, I did see another one off in another direction. Oh, here he is. There he isn't. Man. Oh, see, look at this guy. He's trying to be smart. And actually, he's being pretty smart, but it didn't get him anywhere. He still ended up dying. So guys, I am going to go ahead and see if I can find another one for you. Because I feel kind of bad about telling you that I was going to 
kill him and then he disappeared. Um. Let me see. You know what, maybe I'll do that in a little bit, but for now I need to work on my house, if you guys haven't noticed. And I'm assuming you have. Let's see. So. I'm going to go ahead and collect quite a bit of wood. I'm also going to need a little bit of wood for some coal charcoal. I almost said coal, but you can't make coal. You can make charcoal. And I'll show you guys how to do this. You have to actually cook logs. Now, it's not very efficient, but I think it'll work. And actually, I need to get some more stone first. So I'm going to come down here to my mine of Right. And there we go. So you need eight. Oh, I dug my way out. Dang. Okay. You need eight. Oh, I still did it. Let's see. Like I was saying, guys, you need to have eight cobblestone to make a furnace. So take your eight cobblestone and it will make a furnace. Now you can place this down and right click on it. And let's see, I'm going to put my old wood sword. And we'll just do one log for now. Well, that's not going to be enough. I will also put my pickaxe in there. Oh, that was unfortunate. There we go. So that should make two pieces of this charcoal. There we go, guys. Now what we can do is take our wood that we have and make some sticks and then turn this charcoal into torches. So guys, look at how much better that is. Isn't that a ton better? And, wow, that was really dumb of me. I totally just cooked my pickaxe. You guys probably caught that, but I did not. So unfortunately, I don't need to do that because I have wood. I am going to have to make another wooden pickaxe just so I can get some stone to make a stone pickaxe. One of the unfortunate situations of being stupid. Now, I need to eat food. Here, I'll show you guys what you can do with your cows. Because I said I would do that before. You can take this leather that you get right here, and you can make armor. So I have five leather, so I have enough to make a leather helmet, or a leather cap as they call it. So you, I have enough to either make a leather cap or leather boots, but I want a leather cap because I think it looks cooler. So then what you do is you open up your inventory, and you take your leather cap, and you put it on your head. And now this little bar down here pops up, and that's your armor bar. And I have half a shirt of armor which is not very good. So, I'm going to need some, to find some iron here in a little bit, and I will show you guys what that looks like.
sorry guys, I'll try to place torches more regularly for you. But, I'm gonna go ahead and keep mining down a ways. And actually, I'm still a little bit hungry. And I have this raw pork chop here that I'm gonna eat a little bit of. Nom 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 nom. There we go. So now I'm not hungry anymore. And as you can see, my hearts are regenerating. So it might be, I think it's close to every five seconds, your hearts will regenerate by one half. So... Yeah. And I believe if you don't move, your hunger will not go down. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And guys, let me show you another helpful tip on seeing what level you're on. So this is one level, this block. So I'd be standing on level, actually, you hit function and F3 or just F3, depending on how you have your keyboard set up. So you hit that and it gives you this. And now this Y coordinate right here tells you what your foot position is on. So that means that this block that I'm standing on is level 50. So this would be level 50, level 51, 52, and so on. So we want to try to get down to level, preferably level 13-ish, because that is about the prime level for diamonds. And I'll show you guys, I'll kind of get into it a little bit, but next tutorial I'll get into it more on how you mine for diamonds. So actually guys, this might be a good place to stop the video. I say that right as my pick breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and make another pick. But I think I'll stop the video there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe if you feel like it, rate, all of that fun stuff. And thank you for watching. You know what? Maybe I'll finish off this house quick. Because I think I kind of told you guys I was going to do that and I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and get all of my wood back. That was very dumb. I'm going to get all of this wood from my makeshift house. And... Now I take this, and this might be enough wood to finish off the house. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Plus I'm going to take this one too. I don't know why I'm breaking it with my sword. And I'm also going to take these. Is it getting night out again? Dang. Alright. Well, I got the mine started. Oh, I'm so close. I only need a few more pieces of wood. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go run out and get some wood. Just because I don't want to leave you hanging. Let's see. We've got a lot of trees to choose from. I pick this tree. Let's see, I really do need to hurry now because it's getting nighttime out and I will probably be attacked. 
So here's my house over here. Not too shabby. A little bit shabby, but not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and take all of this, too. Oh, I need a pickaxe for that, don't I? Dang. Okay. So. Let's see. We'll put the crafting table off in this side. And... I will make a stone pickaxe. There we go. Now, look at how fast that was. Wasn't that so much faster? Oh, come on, there we go. And I'll go ahead and finish off the house. And there we go. For now, I'll just leave it like that, because I think I'm fairly safe from monsters attacking. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I know I said this before, but comment, rate, and subscribe if you feel you liked the video and it helped you in any way. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.